Hello everyone, it's Roxy and welcome to a minimap tutorial. Minimap is a crucial aspect of Awesome Notes. It's enable you to see your enemy, your teammates, the creep, and be aware of what's going on in the field to better position it yourself. It's uh, more complex than people may think and it's really important that you watch it as often as possible. That's what makes the difference between a League 2 and 1 and a League 3, 4 and 5, etc. So now it's important to understand how is minimap working. So obviously you don't have access to the full minimap, it would be too easy. You only see the area that are covered by your teammates, yourself or object of your team. So every single person or object, such as the hook of sentry, uh, the teleporty thing of sent of uh, the hook of swiggins, excuse me, the teleporty thing of sentry or like plants of gno, etc. All those objects and your teammate have visibility area, and once an enemy is around that area, you can see it on the minimap. Once the thing is out, you don't see it anymore and become invisible again. So, how often should you look and how long should you look? Well, the idea is to get a clear visibility of where your enemies are, so you don't have to watch it every single second, but it's important to have a look every 5-10 seconds at least to just know where your teams are, if the creeps are moving correctly, if uh, your teammates need help, or if you can pick up a kill or where to escape. So you've guessed it, Minimap has a lot to offer and we're gonna go through every step. So first, find your teammates and go help. By checking in Minimap, we can easily see that one teammate, example Badass, is still out there fighting. So instead of just going back and taking HP, you go back and help because a 2v1 is always better than a 1v1. Regardless of if you are pushing or not, you should go help. Hey, I was making pressure on the right, but my Volta was in trouble on the left. If I don't decide to do that, he will not die, but uh, the enemy is just going to escape and I will be cornered between the turret and the enemy. Here, same scenario. I could have taken the solo boss, but if I do so, then my teammate will die. So it's better not to take down the solo boss and go help instead. Uh, same here, except that obviously my teammate died before, but it doesn't matter, because I came quick enough, I got the clip, the kills. Moving on to traps, you can easily get cornered in awesome nuts, and by checking in the minimap, it's very easy to enable that, uh, that, like to be cornered. You can see, for example, a froggy coming from above, or a vini coming from the left. So by doing though, instead of staying there, you can escape from the bottom, go back to the right before they have time to fully come around you. You can see Froggy coming right now on us. So cornering the Volta 2 and killing him. If one of us was watching the minimap, you would have realized that uh, Froggy was coming from behind. You would have pressed the defense button and go back to help. While being cornered is easy to anticipate, uh, being trapped is actually harder. For example here, the froggy was waiting on the jump pad, ready to dash at me when I passed that line. You can see it again. So if I didn't check minimap, I would have not seen the froggy. I would have went to the Ayla and they would have killed me instant. So by checking minimap, uh, avoid that trap. You can do the same by looking if a uh, sentry is uh, somewhere, like his teleporty thing. You can look at uh, if a uh, Yuri is putting mine in the middle, in that case don't take the jump pad or uh, more simply than that, if uh, Scree is uh, at the top of the jump pad then he's probably making a trap like I explained in the totem tutorial. So just be aware of those and if you see that they are planning on killing you, just avoid the situation of fighting. So moving on to find your backup. Uh, Sometimes you're going to be in a bad position and you have to decide how to escape. While escaping, it's really important to understand that it's better to go see your teammates than going for the creeps. So here, Froggy was chasing me, two options is offered to me, either I go up top and uh, get the creeps, but then it's a 1v1 versus a frog, and it's the League 1, League one frog, so it's a bad situation, or I go down through fire with my teammate, Yolo and Farron, and then it's a three stack people, so we have a, a better way to uh, deal with the situation. Now I want to talk about an aspect of the game that is really important and deserve a video of his own, but I'm just going to go quickly over it. Creep waves and creeps. That is what make most uh, bad players lose. Just because they don't pay enough attention to deep pushing creeps, they end up with a creep wave like we just saw before, and if it's not taken care of, then uh, you usually lose the turret and way more. So, you can enable that by looking at the minimap. For example, here, as you've seen that clip before, we're stupidly pushing bottom. Well, in the meanwhile, if you look at the minimap, we have creep on the top right turret. There's already more than two creeps, so they're gonna win the fight, and then new backup are coming. So now the turret is melting down, and it's gonna go all the way down to the half HP uh, before uh, we have time to do anything. And if we get wiped, then it's even worse because we didn't depush and now they have a full push power. So always check at the minimap 
and be aware of what the creeps are doing. On that example, it's pretty clear that at the top, we didn't de-push, we didn't pay attention, and the creeps went all the way down to our turret to make damage. If you just look quickly, you can decide to go kill them really fast and move on. Kill clearing droids is really, really, really important, guys, and it's what differentiates League 1 and League 2 players. How fast and how efficient can you always be in the field fighting and de-pushing creep at the same time? Okay. Now, since the recent uh, patched, you can see the HP on the minimap. That is really convenient because, well, before you had to basically base it on lock. Now you can uh, anticipate where the HP are going to be and make your gameplay around that. So if you're going to engage and you know there's a, H a HP uh, thing at the top, you know that while engaging, you can get an extra 400 straight up at the beginning of the fight, which is what I did here with my Skolder, for example. You can also anticipate the creeps, and when fighting, know that if you throw someone on the right and this creep on the right, he's going to take the creeps, etc, etc. Also, since you see the creep, you can easily tell that uh, there is no more creeps because the enemy team has taken them. In that case, it's better to back. When escaping, same scenario, create your path of escape based on uh, the creeps. Obviously, sometimes you die stupidly, but uh, by knowing where the creeps are, you can actually survive longer. So, pay nice on those. And now we're moving on to the most important aspect of everything in life, which is anticipating your enemy move. Whatever the game, whatever the competition, whatever the work you're going to have to do in life, if you can anticipate what your enemy are going to do, then you already almost won the game. It's really important. So for example, here you saw that scene before. That's what happened just after. Froggy's coming back and he's gonna fuck me up. And now I knew he was coming up. How do I know that? Because I checked minimap. If you can anticipate your enemy by looking at the minimap and knowing what they're gonna do, then you can attack before they have time to drop and therefore enable them to actually use their skills because they are like kind of surprised that you were that fast. And uh, it's really convenient. That's how you can throw an ammo before people are showing up. That's how you can hook someone before. Here, for example, I, my clunk was at the bottom right, so I assume he would come and jump. So I keep fighting in the middle. However, I didn't check the minimap again, and boom, I got fucked by the enemy clunk. I could have easily uh, survived that by just checking the minimap, saying that clunk is coming. You have visibility because of the creep at the bottom. Since clunk is going to drop, just escape or keep the roll and use it when needed. Most of the things are always the same. If I don't see them and I saw an ammo, it's because I've checked at the minimap. I can anticipate the red in dropping. I can anticipate a hook with Swiggins or if I don't see the enemy and I'm not sure if they went right or left or whatever they're going to do next because they just take a jump pad. By checking at the minimap, I can be sure where they're going. So I can just then I aim uh, according to that. When escaping, it's the same scenario. I could have seen the Ayla coming from top but I forgot to check minimap. If I knew she was coming, which was easy to tell, then I would have probably take the teleport or I would have rushed uh, back to base. It's always the same, that is a hook or a kill. Just check at the minimap, you can see your teammates coming, so you know the enemy are following, so just anticipate the shot. So now we can move on to escape. Obviously, juking is really important, and like you may have realized, when you're trying to escape, uh, the only way to survive is to know where your enemies are. If you know where they are, you can move to the opposite direction and therefore survive. So I let you watch that clip and now I'm going to tell you how I feel every time I play. Three, two, go. Okay, I'm going to oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to fuck them up. I miss punch. Fuck, he dynamite me. Oh, I'm stuck in the rift. Oh, what a newbie pushed me. Okay, let's escape. Okay, let's go left, I juke them, they went right, they could have checked minimap to know I was on the left, then I'm just gonna hide. But they're coming, Lonnie Star is coming, so let's move, let's throw that to get some speed, let's go back in the right, the marine went left, she's gonna snipe so I don't jump, and I survive. Why did I not jump? Because I anticipated that she was gonna thought I was gonna jump, so I don't jump. It's uh, it's just one example here, but every time you have to escape, sometimes it's important to pose, realize where the enemy are, and move again. For example, here, right now, I'm posing, because I thought maybe I could teleport. I saw on the minimap that they were actually coming from the right. I cannot teleport. I keep moving and joking accordingly to where the creeps are, where the enemy are, and where my team is. I've mentioned it before. I actually didn't mention it this enough, but. Uh, the whole point of minimap is to know how to position it yourself so by being sure where your teams are, where your enemy are, you will be better. That is it for the minimap tutorial. I've covered most, most of the main aspects. So be aware of where your team is, enemy are, creeps, HP, 
and uh, try to always have a good overlook uh, view of what's going on so you don't get stupidly cornered or trashed. It's that easy to avoid being thrown, being pushed by a ball, being pushed by Penny, being charged by Jimmy. If you know they're coming, you can easily counter them and you will not just get stupidly uh, killed. Now I will let you with a full game and a really uh, new way to experience awesome nuts. I will let you with that and uh, see you all next week. Goodbye and thanks for your support. Hope you like it. Please, if you do, leave a like. It will always make me happy. Goodbye.